These brave women are the ladies in white. They are daughters, sisters and wives of political prisoners of the dictatorship. And despite the constant harassment perpetrated by the dictatorship, they keep on fighting for freedom of speech, human rights and democracy. In free societies, the citizens have the right to peacefully assemble and demonstrate, criticize the government, revoke unpopular laws, and even propose new ones. That's precisely how the civil rights movement, unionized labor, and other previously marginalized sectors of the population organize themselves, have their demands heard, and achieve social and legal recognition for their communities. But in Cuba, people experience a totally different reality. This is Denis Solis, a rapper who is doing eight months in jail for a scuffle with a police officer that entered his place without a warrant. But we know the true reason for his arrest. He is a political dissident. The Cuban constitution says that citizens are granted freedom of speech and press. The press, radio, television, cinema, and other mass media are state property and may not be object in any case of private property. The law regulates the exercise of these freedoms. None of the freedoms recognized to citizens can be exercised against the existence of the socialist state. Violation of this principle is punishable.
Cuba is still paying for that mistake. We fell in love with the charm of a tough guy that sees the power by force. And as it always happens, he posed as people's liberator to become later a wealthy dictator. They are all the same, and we know a bit about them. Because since 1952 to this day, we've had three dictatorships back to back to back. International tourism received in Cuba absolutely the best our country has to offer. The people, however, has no other choice than enduring huge queues that normally last hours just to acquire whatever food and consumer goods are available. Food has always been rationated in Cuba. If you need to be hospitalized in Cuba, you're likely to be admitted in one of the top-notch hospitals in existence in any province. Something like this. Hear it in the voice of a Cuban mother. In the meantime, our doctors and paramedics are shipped to other countries to honor work contracts for which the money goes almost entirely to the government. The workers provide valuable service to many communities but under stringent norms that violate their rights including to privacy, liberty, movement and freedom of expression and association. This is Luis Manuel Otero, a visual artist from Movimiento San Isidro. Because he is a political dissident, his house is surrounded by police 24-7. Last November, 300 artists and intellectuals occupied the street in front of the Ministry of Culture to demand the liberation of Luis Manuel Otero and the rappers Denis Solis and Michael Osorbo. The movement came to be known as 27N and since the day after this photo, their members have suffered arbitrary arrest and physical violence. With most of the members under house arrest, the leaders showed up again at the Ministry of Culture to demand the end of the repression and the liberation of the incarcerated members. When they arrived to the Ministry of Culture, the place was surrounded by police cruisers. 
Now take a look at how communism treats dissenting intellectuals. Needless is to say, they all got arrested and beaten up. Some of them are still under house arrest. Their houses surrounded by police cruisers 24-7. From that moment on, the repression, the political violence has gone in crescendo every single day all over the island. The dictatorship does not allow the international press in Cuba to talk to dissidents or any other opposition organizations. So they are oblivious to the Cuban reality and the opposition has only social media as a tool to denounce so much repression. So, as a Cuban-born Canadian, I'm sending an SOS appealing to your conscience, your sense of decency and your humanity. Cuban idiots are filing a petition to the House of Commons 
requesting Canada to join Amnesty International, denouncing the so many violations of human rights that are happening right now in Cuba. Right now. This is my SOS. I wanted to shine a light on the Cuban reality because Cuba is a paradise for anyone except for the Cubans. So if you're planning to go on vacation to Cuba, please keep in mind that Cuban people is suffering hunger, misery, diseases, and our bravest sons and daughters and brothers are being beaten up every single day and arrested arbitrarily and we have no freedom of speech, no free press, no right to complain but we are standing up for our rights so please spread the word let everybody know oh, 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 oh.